okay in the last video we uh, worked out an example of prime parts and we found out that uh, if we compute the prime parts on a given graph uh, it can give us parts uh, that exercise the loop in a graph uh, once more than once and without uh, actually executing that loop so there are a few more concepts related to prime parts uh, which we are going to cover in this video these are called uh, Turing uh, we have seen the definition of Turing earlier but there are two more related concepts one of them is called Turing with side trips and another one is called Turing with detours so first we uh, recap the definition of a tour uh, last time we discussed about a visit and we uh, discussed there that when a node or an edge is uh, traversed by a test path then we say that the test path visits that node or, a, or an edge but when there are parts of length more than one we call those paths subpaths and if it, it if a test path happens to uh, to uh, ha happens to traverse that subpath then in we, we particularly call this scenario as uh, the test path p towards subpath q if q is a subpath of p means if uh, uh, these subparts uh, are uh, being uh, traversed by a test path then we call these uh, then we call that the test path is touring this subpath so what do we mean by a tour with a side trip so a test path p towards subpath q with side trips if and only if every edge in the subpath q is also in p in the same order so this is the thing to we need to think about that every edge in the subpath is uh, in the test path in the same order so this looks a bit cumbersome we can uh, simply state it that the tour can include a side trip as long as it comes back to the same node means that uh, the path under consideration uh, if it is uh, being toured by a test path and the test path definitely can have some repeating nodes so if it leaves a, a path and then comes back to the path on the same node then we call such a tour with a side trip on the other hand what do we mean by a tour with a detour so a test path p tours subpath q with detours if and only if every node now this is the difference here we uh, in, the, in the case of side trips, we, <coughs> we, we set edges, we set, uh, talked about an edge and here we are talking about a node. So that every node in the subpath Q is also in P in the same order. So when we talked about detours, then the order of the nodes is preserved uh, by the test path as it is in the subpath. So in simple terms, we can say that a tour can include a detour from node NI as long as the, as long as it comes back to the prime path at a successor of ni so what does that mean it means that if uh, the test path leaves the path at the prime path under consideration from a node ni and then if it returns to the prime path or the subpath which is being toured by the test path on a successor of ni then we, call, we then we will call that tour with a detour so here we have the examples so let us assume that in this case we have this uh, uh, prime path which goes along uh, node 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 then 3 to 5 <coughs> and then 5 to 6 in, in the same way we can also have a test path that begins from node 1 goes to node 2 then to node 3 then to node 5 and then to node 6 now this test path if this is my test path I mark this with T and this is my prime path I mark with this P so this test path now is uh, touring the prime path uh, without any side trip or a detour because it didn't leave that uh, prime path uh, on any node it remained or it uh, remained along the prime path all the way through so what uh, what do we mean a tour with a side trip so again the same example let me change colors so this is my prime path from node 1 to 2, node 2 to 3, node 3 to 5 and node 5 to 6. Now let me change the color of the pen again. So what do we, what is meant by a tour with a side trip? So let's say this is my test path that goes from node 1 to 2, then 2 to 3, then 3 to 4, then 4 to 5, sorry 4 to 3, and then 4 to 5 and then 5 to 6. In this case we can see 
that the test path which I mark with a T and the prime path which I mark with a P. The test path continued along the prime path uh, till node 3, then it left the prime path uh, to another node 4 and then it came back to the prime path where from where it left and then continued along the prime path. So it came back to the same node from where it left, therefore such a tour will be called a tour with a side trip. In the same way, uh, let us say uh, we have the same prime path which goes from 1 to 2, then 2 to 3, then 3 to 5 and then 5 to 6. And we now have the test path which starts from node initial node, then goes to node 2, then goes to node 3, then leaves the node 3, goes to node 4 and now it goes to node 5 instead of node 3 which is the successor of 3. So this, is the de this was the definition that if a test path leaves the prime path from a, con uh, from a node and then it comes back to the prime path on a successor node, then such a tour will be called a tour with a detour. Now two more uh, interesting concepts, uh, in fact three uh, about prime paths. One more definition is of a round trip path. So it is a prime path that starts and ends at the same node. So we learned that a uh, prime path is also a simple path which does not happen to be a proper uh, sub path of any other simple path. So a round trip path is a prime path means that it is a simple path and it is a prime path and it is a special prime path that always begins and ends at the same node. So this gives rise to two coverage criteria. One of them is called the simple round trip coverage and the other one is called the complete round trip coverage. So what is meant by <coughs> simple round trip coverage? It says that uh, the test requirement contains at least one round trip path for each reachable node in the graph that begins and ends a round trip path. Meaning that any node, uh, reachable node which is in the graph and it has maybe one or more uh, round trip paths that are beginning and ending on this node, the simple round trip coverage requires that at least one of them should be covered, then we will achieve simple round trip coverage. On the other hand, if we want to compute the complete round trip coverage on a graph, then the test requirement is that all round trip paths for each reachable node in G must be covered. So if there are more than one uh, round trip paths that start and begin at a node, then for complete round trip coverage we have to uh, cover all of those. So let us take an example, for example we have this very simple graph where 1 is the starting node, 2 is the, uh, another node which is connected to node 1, 3 is another node, let us call this maybe a final node, this double concentric circle and then we have another node 4 which is connected to node 3 and 4 is connected to 1 and let us uh, make it more interesting by putting another edge from 3 to 1. Now uh, I want to compute the round trip path that begin node 1, so I can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. This is one round trip path. Then another can be 1, 2, 3 and 1. Another one can be, uh, now I want to find out the round trip path that begin and end on node 2. So starting from node 2, 3 and 4 and 1 and 2. So another one can be 2, 3, 1 and 2. Now round trip path for node 3, 3, 4, 1, 2 and 3. Another one can be 3, 1, 2 and 3. Now for node 4, 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So, so node 4 has just uh, one round trip path. Now for simple round trip coverage, uh, let me change the color of the pen. I can select any one of those to produce uh, or achieve simple round trip coverage. Likewise, I can uh, select any one of these to achieve simple round trip coverage. And in the same way, I can also select any one of these to uh, achieve simple round trip coverage. For complete round trip coverage, uh, uh, sorry, and 
since there is no to uh, no, no uh, other round trip path other just uh, than this one 4 1 2 3 4 on node 4 so for simple round trip coverage for this graph i will write i, I will have to write this one so let's say srtc can be achieved by 1 2 3 1 and then 2 3 4 1 and 2 and then 3 1 2 3 and then 4 1 2 3 4 so these will achieve the simple round trip coverage on the on this graph which we just drew here uh, on the slide and for complete round trip coverage we will have to write all these round trip parts uh, for achieving the complete round trip coverage on this graph okay so in this video we learned about towards we learned about tour with a side trip we learned about uh, tour with a detour then we learned about uh, round trips and round trip parts and simple round trip coverage and complete round trip, uh, complete round trip coverage so that's enough for this video in the next video i will come with some other interesting stuff uh, that will build upon these concepts we have learned uh, so far in these videos thank you